let's learn how to sketch an angle in standard position. For example, let's sketch theta is equal to 2 pi divided by 3 in standard position. Let's begin by drawing a unit circle here. So let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. So a unit circle is a circle of radius 1, which means this is the point 1, 0. Now an angle is in standard position if its initial side is on the positive x-axis. Now if theta is greater than 0, we rotate in the counterclockwise direction. And if theta is less than 0, then we rotate in the clockwise direction. And since our angle here, theta, 2 pi divided by 3, is greater than 0, we're going to be rotating in the counterclockwise direction. But where do we stop? Well, one complete rotation measures 2 pi radians. Because remember that the radian measure of an angle is defined as the length of the corresponding arc on the unit circle. And since the circumference of the unit circle is 2 pi, then the radian measure of one complete revolution is 2 pi radians. And therefore, half of a rotation would measure pi radians. Which means, looking over here on the left, if we started rotating our initial side all the way to here, this would be pi radians. And how many thirds is pi? Isn't that 3 pi thirds? That means our angle here didn't quite get there. We're pi thirds short of it. In other words, 2 pi divided by 3 is equal to... 3 pi divided by 3, which is pi, minus pi thirds. So therefore, our angle is here. 2 pi divided by 3. And this here is pi thirds. Not in standard position, of course, but the measure of that angle is pi thirds. Another way to think about it here's the initial side. This would be pi thirds. That's one pi third. This is two pi thirds. This is three pi thirds. So this is our angle we're looking for. All right, let's look at another example. Let's sketch this angle here. Theta is equal to negative 5 pi divided by 4 in standard position. Again, we'll begin by drawing a unit circle. So here's the initial side on the positive x-axis. And because our angle up here is less than 0, we're going to be rotating in the clockwise direction. But again, where do we stop? So remember that 1 half of a rotation measures negative pi radians in the clockwise direction. And how many fourths is negative pi? Isn't that negative 4 pi fourths? Which means we need to keep going. We have to go negative pi fourths more. So this would be the angle here. Negative 5 pi over 4. Because negative 5 pi over 4 
is equal to negative 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. Or another way to think of it is to count off multiples of negative pi over 4. So this is 1 times negative pi over 4. This is 2 times negative pi over 4. This is 3 times negative pi over 4. This is 4 times negative pi over 4. And this is 5 times negative pi over 4, which is our angle. And so sketching it in standard position, this is the initial side, and this is the terminal side. So our angle, negative 5 pi over 4, is here. And this is how we sketch an angle in standard position. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.